Redbeard be about to crack open the final beer that was brought to him by his great friend Jennifer from the Ottawa-Quebec border type area. It's a blueberry beer, and it looks pretty good. What be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another Daily Drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a bottle of La Fabuleuse by Multi Brasse. Yeah, looks really, really kind of neat. Blueberry beer. Blueberry beer without artificial flavor, 5% alcohol, and that is the only thing on the entire frickin' bottle. Like, nothing, nothing else at all. But blueberry is tasty, so... Hmm? Let's crack her open. See what we've got. Holy wow. That smells amazing. Holy shit. Oh, really? Look at the color of that. That is pretty much the color of squashed blueberries. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world going to lose you for watching my videos. The Beard loves you all so very, very, very much. Like I said before, I can, the smell is like coming off of it. It's, it smells like, I don't know, blueberry pie or something? Just blueberries. I, I can't get over that. This is the most intensely fruity smelling beer I have ever experienced. Pretty sure. Let's give her a shot. Oh my goodness. That is fantastic. It's almost like a sour. Nothing but blueberry flavor. Nothing but blueberry flavor. I think the only other blueberry flavored beer I've had was the Waterloo Brewing Blueberry Beer. This has at least a thousand times more blueberry flavor than that did. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. That is a taste bud exploding beer right there. Holy shit. Today being October 23rd, not a whole lot actually happened on this date in the past that seemed that interesting to me. In 1707, the first Parliament of Great Britain met, had their first meeting, that's kind of a thing that happened. In 1911, the first documented use of an aircraft in war happened. It was in the Italo-Turkish War, and all that happened was an Italian pilot took off from Libya, and he, like, looked at the Turkish army lines and reported back. Kind of like the first spy mission type thing, I guess. Here, here's to you, stuff. I get absolutely zero beer flavor out of that. None at all. Like the lingering flavors are just, all the flavors are just blueberry. This beer is incredible. Another first meeting thing happened on this date in 1946. The United Nations General Assembly convened for the first time at an auditorium in Flushing, Queens, New York City. I think it kind of humorous that there's a... I think it's like it's a borough, or the Queens is a borough, Flushing would be a neighborhood, or it's like, you know, the tiers of municipalities, or whatever you might want to say. But yeah, to say I live in Flushing would be kind of weird.
there's really nothing more I can say about this beer. It's got a cat hair on it. I can say that. Not surprising. But blueberry flavor. Through and through. Nothing but. It truly is a sensational, astonishing, incredible, holy crap beer. Really does kind of sadden me though that like there isn't a damn thing on this bottle. Like just, just that. Nothing else at all. No ingredients, no dates, no, no nothing. Because it's really, really good and it would get really, really high marks. Finally on this date, in 1958, the Smurfs showed up in their first cartoon story, which was called Le Flute a Six Strumpfs. I, I can't pronounce weird Swedish things. Let's let's kill the blueberry. The blue Smurfs. Ha ha ha. Whatever. Trick number the last. I love that beer. So, multi brassé, multi. That's you can see it right there at the top, kind of. Yeah, there you go. Multi brassé. It's out of Quebec, so it's French. I know your Le Fabulous beer rating. Really, really, really solid. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. I'm only gonna take off like 0.75 for each of date and ingredient not having, because it was really, really, really good. Eight and a half good. And that is going to do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another daily drink vlog tomorrow. Peace out! Wow, I was only recording for like 11 minutes. That's the shortest recording I've done in like at least a month. <laughs>